gonna show you how to turn canned, whole canned tomatoes into a delicious basic tomato sauce. I'll never forget the first time I had a really delicious tomato sauce. We were in a restaurant and I was dining with a girlfriend and I asked the chef if he would give me the recipe or at least tell me how he made it. He said, sure, but you have to come back in two days. Well, we were traveling at the time and I was able to convince my girlfriend to stay in this little town for two extra days so that I could get into this guy's kitchen and learn his secret. So we did. I can be very convincing. We stayed, we got into the kitchen. We actually had to wait another day, a third day. He called and for some reason was unable to see us. And so when we finally got in there, she's like, this better be worth it. <laughs> so we go into his kitchen and he has basil, garlic, fresh tomatoes and olive oil. He chops it all up. He puts it in a pot. He says, cook this for 25 minutes and then strain it. And that's your sauce. And I was very disappointed. <laughs> I thought I was going to learn something really amazing. But what I did learn and what it did teach me is the quality of ingredients and the simplicity is the best. I grew up in a very traditional American household. Spaghetti was actually one of our dinner rotations. And I believe the seasoning came from a packet. And if it didn't come from a packet, I'm pretty sure it came from a bottle labeled Italian seasoning. So here's my beef with Italian seasoning. It's generally a combination of rosemary and thyme, basil, oregano, and sometimes sage, sometimes garlic, sometimes onion. Rosemary is lovely with tomatoes, but it's too strong generally. If you're making a tomato soup and you put some rosemary in it, it can be lovely together as can thyme, and the combination of tomato and thyme is a tried and true, exceptionally good one, but it's also very overpowering. So when I make a tomato sauce, whether it be for lasagna, for a pasta pomodoro, for um, eggplant parmigiana, I want that sauce to taste like tomatoes. I don't want it to taste like Italian seasoning. So I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful tomato sauce that tastes like tomatoes. There's a hint of garlic in it, there's a little bit of basil and a few chili flakes, but mainly it's tomato and olive oil and it is so delicious. You're going to love this sauce. Here's what you do. This is a really simple two-part recipe. You're going to reduce the tomatoes and salt by half. It'll take, for canned tomatoes, it takes about a half an hour on a lazy simmer. And then we're going to make a seasoned oil. So we're going to bring our olive oil, the basil, the garlic, and the chili flakes up to a simmer just until you start to hear the basil crack. And it actually sounds like Rice Krispies. It's just like this cracking sound. You'll remove it from the heat and we'll just let it steep. We're going to put the garlic in, paper and all, and uh, because we'll strain the oil out. And you'll add the oil to your tomato sauce. Simple. Start by putting all of your tomatoes in a wide bottom pan. The idea for the sauce is we want to reduce it. So we want that moisture to come out of the um, tomatoes and boil off. So if you put it in a really narrow, deep pot, it's not going to evaporate as quick and your tomatoes are going to cook and have a more cooked taste. We'll add, it's about a teaspoon of salt. We want a fair amount of salt. I'm going to start that out over medium-high heat and as soon as it starts bubbling violently I'm going to turn it down so it's just kind of a lazy boil and it will take 30 minutes. While our tomatoes are reducing we're going to go ahead and make our seasoned oil. So you take 
a good bunch of basil and I just tear the leaves just to get some of those yummy compounds released. And you can use stems and all. And this um, oil is going to be strained. And so when we add our garlic, I'm just going to, I'm just going to trim off the roots, um, but I'm just going to give it a rough chop and add it paper and all. So basically you can just cut your garlic down the horizon line and toss it in. Add your chili flakes. This is not a spicy tomato sauce. The chili flakes just help enhance that tomato flavor. And cover the whole thing with olive oil. You want about a, a cup and a quarter. That's roughly 300 milliliters of olive oil. Tuck my garlic down inside. And we're just going to bring this up to a really low, slow simmer until we start to hear it crack. While your tomato sauce is cooking down, be sure to stir it periodically. The tomatoes on the bottom will condense down faster and tend to stick. And I also just chop them up as I stir and it helps break them apart a little quicker. Okay, my tomato sauce is reduced down by half. So now I'm gonna strain my oil. I'm going to pour the oil, the seasoned oil, into my sauce and cook it for another 10 minutes just to get everything all integrated and those flavors melded together. And press on the solids to extract all of that yummy oil from the garlic and the basil. Be sure to get the oil and tomatoes really stirred well. You don't want the oil sitting on top. You want it to emulsify into your tomato mixture. So there's your finished tomato sauce. It's so yummy. You're going to love this one. You caught us at dinner time, so we're making pasta pomodoro. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and that's it delicious. Enjoy. Thanks for being here. As always, the complete list of ingredients and the full recipe is just below this video box. If you click show more, you'll see the whole thing.